Hello, this is Eric of Napaos, and I'm here to discuss the ASUS Strix ROG XG349C monitor. So, it's like this monitor in terms of being an ultra-wide, but there's far more, of course, that you want to know that you, you already know. Well, for one, it's a very slight curve. So if you're concerned about having too much of a curve, it's very, very, very mild, which is actually really good. It means no distortions, but this is only the start. Now, how about that 10-bit color? That is 10-bit up to 144 hertz. When you overclock, you'll have to drop down to 8-bit color. What does this 10-bit color do? Well, it helps to prevent image banding. Lines you actually see where the tones actually don't blend together nicely. Well, that, that is where images are guesstimated. And of course, 10-bit color will actually very much help to get those estimations more accurate and get a really nice, smooth image. How about ELMB, Extreme Low Motion Blur. What that does is strobing. However, the strobing technique is not perfect. It'll give you kind of a jittery feel. There was a screenshot of ELMB used on this monitor, which I cannot find. I looked it up on my phone while I was at work on break and I didn't have enough time to get around back to it. I think I could find that image again. So what it does, it has an image and it has that slight after image. And the one person found they didn't like it. One thing I can let you know right now is having extreme low motion blur decreases the monitor brightness quite noticeably. So that may be a concern for you. So this being ultra wide gives you a better view of the playing field. Let's say you're playing a racing car game. You kind of feel stuck where you can't see side to side. You get that extra view. Let's say you're playing a shooter or something else and you're getting shot in a regular, with a regular size screen, you're getting shot. Seeing this ultra wide helps you with that extra view. In fact, that helped me greatly when playing online games. Type C port on here, 18 watts charging port. So you can actually power your devices. So charge your phone through type C USB on here, which I also believe if I'm not mistaken, allows you to actually connect the computer through a Thunderbolt 3 or a display port through USB. So I might wonder this or the LG 34 GP 950B. This panel is based on the same panel, just using the ASUS technology and what they actually put into it. So both panels are gonna be a matter of the little subtle differences you may like. And both are color tuned, so you can actually get true accuracy at a DCI-P3 of 98%. Artists rejoice, this XG349C is your panel, and the LG one is the same color profile, so you should very much consider this for art. So be it photography, video editing, you'll have the accuracy you want. So how about color tones when gaming? Well, you might get oversaturation depending on the gaming mode you're using. If you use the configured mode that's accurate for sRGB, you may not like it too much because the light exaggerated color tones do look great if you're actually into that. And of course, ASUS has that uh, dark, what is it called? Dark stabilizer or whatever it is. I'll put that above here. That helps in gaming. So let's say you're in a dark place. You can actually eliminate some of those shadows and actually make it so it's easier to find the enemy. In fact, even with this VA panel too, I took advantage of what's called the MSI version of night mode, limiting the black part of it to actually get better gaming experience. So now a Q&A for quick questions. So Xbox or PlayStation gaming consoles? Well, I would not recommend it because you've got black bars on both sides. They're not made for ultra wide. At least I've not seen a gaming console yet made for ultra wide monitors. The next problem is it's HDMI 2.0, not 2.1, which means that 2.0, 4K resolution, yet can downscale by the way, it will run at 60 frames per second. But that actually is fine because your games are not gonna be running over 60 frames per second anyways, but it would give you better image quality, be able to hit over 60 frames per second in refresh rate. Well, the possibility anyways. And be more future proof, of course, if HDMI 2.1. And as far as I'm concerned, all monitors should have 
HDMI 2.1, but pretty much nothing has it at this time. And you might wonder about resolution and terms of performance. Okay, 1080p, let's say if that was running at 100 frames per second, you kept all the settings the same. With the ASUS monitor, you might be running it like 60 to 50 frames per second. So yeah, keep that in mind. A regular 1440p, it'll say, well, it's running at 78 frames per second. This ASUS monitor is a higher resolution. A regular, a regular monitor shape is 2560 by 1440p. This is 3440 by 1440p. There's more to render, more detail. So your games will run slower with this monitor versus say a 1080p or even a regular 1440p because you have more detail to render. Using 180 hertz and HDR and whatnot may cause them, well, some people cause them coil wine. The coil of wine might be from your graphics card, but a lot of people said a solution that helps in most cases, at least to a point, is turning the internal speakers to mute. Maybe there'll be an update for this, but this is a comment that several users have mentioned. And you might wonder, why don't I have this monitor? Well, if you look right now, my subscriber count is less than a thousand. It means I cannot write off expenses because I'm not making income. And I bought this monitor months ago. I actually had this XG349C on order and I canceled it today. What's the point? Right now, I have a situation where the, I'm working as a contractor in the company that I'm contracting for. It looks to be going on strike. And if I don't have a source of income, what am I going to do? So if you want to help this channel grow, remember to subscribe. And I can hopefully answer your questions. And maybe one day I can get that fast high-end gaming monitor. Asus does make a gaming monitor that's really fast for gaming. If you just care about gaming speed, they have a 270 hertz monitor. I wouldn't get it. Uh, the reason I wouldn't get it is I really care about image quality. So the XG349C image quality is wonderful. Black tones, wonderful. As in better than this thing. Way better than this. This has some almost looks like image compression happening in the dark tones. So if you wonder if VA or this, the ASUS is the way to go. This is Eric of Not Bios. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see this channel grow and me to take risks on purchasing different products so I can actually write off some of the costs. And that would be freaking awesome because hey, I like to go beyond technical specs when it comes down to monitors. I like to show comparisons. I would have been comparing this directly to the XG349C. Contrast, color tones, black tones, so you can see the whole nine yards, motion blur, slow motion camera footage. If you don't actually know what I'm talking about, check out my review of the MSI MAG301CR2, a three part series. And I would have gone through all the details, compared it, showed how good it is for gaming, the best settings, everything would have been there for you. Maybe one day when ASUS or someone else releases a hot monitor, we may see it soon. Thanks again for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. This is not BIOS, tech and hardware.